Hello everybody and welcome to one of our how-to guides. We're celebrating our flower of the month in September which is Gypsophila. So today I'm going to create this lovely Gypsophila wreath. Really easy, simple to complete. My ingredients are literally just a wire wreath ring. This is a raised wreath ring, this is a 12 inch one. I've got some um, real wire, green real wire my trusty scissors and my gypsophila. Actually using a slightly lower grade gypsophila today, still a large headed one, this one is excellent. I normally advocate that we use a heavier grade, so one of the extra grade ones like Snowball, but on this occasion I'm going to use a slightly lesser grade one just so you can see how the stems compare perhaps to the Snowball. All right, so I hope you enjoy. So I hope you've enjoyed watching our Gypsophila wreath. I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself. As you can see, really easy to complete. I've got a couple of top tips for you. Um, so my first top tip, you can actually prepare this in advance. Obviously you need to condition the Gypsophila first um, and cut the stems before you start. So you shorten them so that they're ready to place onto the wreath. But you could potentially do this a couple of days before your event because if I just remove this for a second, as you can see, all the stems are actually cut 
and visible. So you could literally lay that in a bowl of water so it continues drinking. So yeah, so something you can actually do in advance. Let me pop that back. Okay. Um, you could otherwise use other styles of bases. Uh, so if you wanted to, you could use a foam ring with a plastic base or a foam, um, hard foam base. Uh, that way the gypsum fluid would actually be drinking permanently. Uh, so again, you could make that up a couple of days in advance. You could also do it on a moss ring. You could also do it on a vine um, wreath ring if you wanted to as well. That would give you a slightly more rustic appearance. Slightly more problematic in soaking it though. You would need to do that ideally on the day of the event or at least the night before. Okay, so once you've made it up, um, as I said, you could store it in water. But what I would suggest you do is spray it uh, with a water mister. Keep it somewhere nice and cool and dark until you're ready to use it. All right. Thank you so much for watching us. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for loads more how-to guides, tips and hints, and obviously more ideas celebrating Gypsophila, our flower of the month. So don't forget to share us with your friends, like us, and keep your comments coming below uh, and we'll answer them as best we can. Thank you once again for joining us. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now.